everybody joining. This is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room and oh there's Alicia. Welcome and yes we are going to have a look at Awesome Otters which is one of the uh, celebration items that we are able to choose with a purchase of $20 and here it is here and you can see the cute ideas already just even alone in the uh, brochure and the other one that we're going to be using tonight, of course, is this marvelous paper. Oh, man, do I love that paper, too. So these two are my absolute favorites in celebration. <laughs> so we are going to have a look at that. I'll just uh, look here first. I have, of course, the color we're going to do the card, and that will be in this color. But in Marvelous, we also get a black tone. We get um, Coastal Cabana, and then there's the Grape, and then, um, I'm not sure which one this is, I think that is the, oh, what is it, So Sofren? Oh, and oh, we forgot the pink. And then we have the Blushing Bride as well. And then, of course, on each side, so these were the, the more wavy, wild, marbled ones, and on the flip side, we have uh, these ones here, which are beautiful, just like, wow, they're a little more subtle than the other one. So you get a whole package of those. I believe it's 48 sheets, and that is a wonderful free item as well. So tonight, we're going to have a look. We're going to make a card, and of course, which one do you choose? They are all so cute, and um I have one card here that I had made already, and that was this one here. And again, I'm using that blue marvelous paper in the background. And I believe this was the Encircled in Friendship that I was using here. And I just thought it kind of made a nice circle there. And I'm even using the little uh, clear uh, dots. Can you see they look like raindrops or splashes? So I added those to my card. Hi, Marsha. Ah, oh, there she is. Hello there. So here we have that card. I'm going to show you one other when we're done, but we're going to make a card and I'm going to use a white card base for this one. And I have um, also been cutting, I pre-cut things so it was ready for us, but I'm using my layering dioramas as well. And I used these two sizes. They, there's one in between them, but I wanted to make sure they had a little bit more of a, a gap as I did it like this. So I used this big one here that I cut, oops, wrong way. I cut this out of the marvelous paper, and then I took this paper, and I then cut out this shape in there like that. And so now when you later i got to do something to this first but we're going to put this on here and there's our kind of like our little window peeking in so <laughs> there we go so what we want to do just so we're not going to have white in the background we want to just add a little bit of color so i'm going to start with balmy blue and we're going to add just a little bit. And remember, we don't have to do this all over because we're just basically wanting it in the inside here. So we're just going to, when you go either stamp off or go really slowly, and then as you get going, you can put some more pressure. So just like that. And I, in this particular one, I don't really even mind if there's some um, more even and darker and lighter spots because in the ocean it is all kind of different colors. So we just give it a peek here. Is that going to be kind of right in the middle? Yep, a little bit maybe more over here. And because I'm not using this side, I can dab off on the edge. And then just to make it a smidge of a different, or hello Leanne, a little different of a color, I'm going to stamp off a little bit, but this is um, Misty Moonlight. And I'm just going to add a little bit just to get some of that color a little bit darker. Not quite so bright. There. And then you can just pop your card back on top 
and say, okay, oh, I think I'm still gonna put a little bit more in this corner here. But I think that looks good. So Misty Moonlight and Balmy Blue is what we used. And now we're gonna get ready to do our stamping. And you can see here, this little guy in here. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in a white piece of cardstock and, oh boy, which one are we gonna do? I think we'll do the one in the water. So we're gonna take this little guy out and we are going to put this on our stamp. I am using black memento in this one. And this is just my piece, so it doesn't really matter where I'm stamping it. I just wanna leave some room all around it. That looks pretty good. Now, the other thing that we could do is, we'll do it in a minute, is just a little bit of blue uh, around, or we could stamp them on there. No, we can't, unless we cut them out. That would be another option too. You could cut out the, let's do that. Let's do that. Which way? So I'm gonna use crumb cake, light and dark for his belly. <clears throat> so we'll just go in here. I usually go with the light first and then come in with the dark and blend the two. So these are our stamp and blends. I'm gonna go to the dark and I'm just gonna go a little bit around here where it would be probably a little darker. And then I'm gonna take my light and do some circles around there just to make it a little bit darker. Just like that. The otter's so cute, I know. He is adorable. Okay, do we got the right color? We're gonna close these guys up because now we're gonna use uh, the soft suede. And so there's the dark and here is the light. Let's start with the light. And I'm just gonna do, not the eyeball, just go around here like this and then come in with a bit of the dark. And I'm just gonna do it kind of on the outside a little bit. And again, blend. Do circles just to get it nicely blended. You don't wanna have big blotches there. And turn them around and we'll go on this side. There. Yeah, I was looking up even the colors of otters and I'm thinking, don't look quite look like that, but anyway, that's okay. We can color them any any way we want. Whatever way they look cute. So we're just going to put that like that. Go in and blend it again. Oh, Marilyn. Hello, Marilyn. Everybody's joining tonight. Okay, so there we have the um, otter all colored. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color his nose as well, just to make that stand out a little bit better. Okay, there's not much fussy cutting, but <clears throat> there will be a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, don't worry, I'm gonna stamp on the paper so we can still get our uh, water splash. So there would have been several ways that you could do this, but this is this is one. I'm gonna show you another cute card when we're done this one, because I had a hard time deciding whether I was gonna use the layering dioramas or I was going to use the uh, one with the holes. So I decided I would do one of each. So that's what I'm gonna show you in just a little while but we're gonna just cut that off and then we're gonna bring our stamp back in here. Now, oh boy, suction there. <laughs> we're gonna take this smallest piece just so I can kind of see where we're going to stamp this. Don't worry, I won't leave the blue on, but I just kind of wanna get an idea where. Oh, actually I can leave it on. There's enough room for him right in there and that way we can get it exactly where we want. So just like that. 
okay? And because we don't want a blue um, otter, that's why I cut, colored and cut him out here so that he will be in the water. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue, it's still a little wet, but we'll try not to get it in the wet ink. So we're just going to put that in there. Now we do have a few splashes that are on our otter. So again, not a problem. I have balmy blue blends and I found that the dark was a little bit dark, just the right amount of dark because the light was too light. So we can just add in, um, in screen here, yes. And I just did a little bit here and then I just kind of went over the ripples a little bit of the waves in this way around that way i don't know how much we'll be showing again because we got a little bit but we'll just make sure we got most of it so does everybody have the otters it definitely seems to be a favorite of everybody's all right so now we're going to take our layer little piece of glue or something there and we're going to start layering them so we could do this several ways we could glue it all down or we could take these two and this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two and layer them so I'm going to glue this to here but then I'm going to put dimensionals underneath the Pacific Point cardstock so we're going to put glue all the way around the outside and then just a little bit around the diorama as well. And stick that. Now again, you could go, depends which way you wanna do it. Do you want them to be kind of in the same sink or you want them separate? This time I think I'll go this way. Yeah, because they're closer, they're not exactly, perfectly layered, but the other way would just put it totally different, which can look really nice with cards as well, depending on what you're doing. So we're going to lay that on there. And then we want to put dimensionals on here. So what I had, I had a few of these big pieces left, so I'm just going to use up a few of these strips. If I can get my fingers going on it. My fingers are sticking. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put one big strip right in there. And then I had another one. Let's see if I can find it. No, I'm not going to find it. Okay, well, then we are going to use some dimensionals. And so we're going to just whoop, put them like this. Uh, let's see, we're going to want a few of them. Let's put one in the corner. We're going to put a few on this side too. And maybe one over here and maybe one there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, Leanne, you have the otters? Yes, and I think Marilyn has the otters too. Uh-huh, they are... So cute. Seems every celebration they have a really cute animal, which I'm always delighted to see what it's going to be. <laughs> All right. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to bring our card back in. He looks cute just like that, doesn't he? Okay, make sure we got this going. Which way? I think that looks good. Now, the camera's in my face, so I'm. But normally I would try to stand up over it, and then lay him down. But see, then it gives it just a little bit of a height, and it looks like he's peeking a boo, peeking and poking through that little hole. You see it? I think a little bit. So there we go, and that would be the one card. Now, of course, you could put a sentiment in here. They have you are utterly awesome or it's a birthday uh, time and so you could use that one as well but I'm just going to leave them blank because I'm not sure who I'm going to give that one to yet Joanne 
Yes, that's right. I think you guys got the otters too. So yes, you now can try out the otters. So I, I guess I must love the marvelous paper. I've realized all three cards I'm showing you have used the blue. Wonder why I don't have any blue left. Time to do, do a different color. <laughs> so this is the other card I was going to show you that I did. And with this one, I uh, combined it together with the seascape. So in the seascape dies, oops, here's all my cutouts. Um, this is what I do actually. When I have leftover cutouts, I put them in a clear envelope and I put them in with my stamp set and my dies and then that way they're right there when I go to make something. And I find that very helpful. But all this was is I cut out one of this piece of coral and then I just cut out little bits for each of the little windows. And then, of course, this one has this amazing die where you can cut out the two fish. And I thought that really looked cute because I colored his little fish uh, orange and then the two orange fish. And then I also put in something else in the mini catalog, and that is the fox sea glass. And so I put the, some of these here on the bottom. So again, just a different way to use the otters. And it's nice that we have some other ocean ones as well that uh, coordinate very well with it. And um, this here is also that peekaboo. Let me just grab that one I forgot on my other table here. And the cutter, I don't know where it is. Oh yeah, there it is. Whoa. This is this cutter here where it cuts the circles. And then with it also comes this one. And this one cuts out the three. And so that looks really nice on a card too that you can have three little peekaboos as well. So it's just some other ways that you can use this fabulous, uh, beautiful set called the Otters, the Awesome Otters. And the next one I wanna make, and I just didn't have time today, and that is a birthday one because he looks pretty adorable with his little birthday hat as well. So I've got my paper already, some nice bright paper that I'm gonna use and it will look pretty cute. Oh, you haven't quite figured out the rectangles? Okay, well, Tanya, I will post some of the cards that I've made with these so that you can see some more ideas with that as well. Awesome there, ladies. Thanks for joining me tonight. So tonight we featured the uh, celebration Awesome Otters, and uh, I haven't decided yet for next week, but you'll see me. At first, I was going to just do this on January's or January on Monday nights, but I've decided to keep doing it at least for February, and um, I'll feature a different product then each time. So I'll see you then next Monday night. Thanks very much, ladies. Have fun. Bye-bye.